guys, so it's Friday afternoon and uh, we're getting together with some friends later, so it's time to make some salsa. Alright guys, so we got the salsa, I got a ghost pepper and a whole bunch of serrano peppers in it. Hopefully this time all my friends won't complain that it's not spicy enough. Welcome to the pepper farm. Welcome to the garden. Uh, I'll show you around a little bit. Here we have these um, hot pepper scorpion peppers. Uh, coming in real nice. Uh, this is a serrano plant that I planted last year and <clears throat> we picked most of them to make the salsa today. So there's like nothing on it. This is the, this is the Carolina Reaper, which is like one of the hottest peppers in the world. I think the one that's the actual hottest pepper in the world is like the Jack's uh, Carolina Reaper. This is the Carolina Reaper. This this pepper doesn't really produce much, but as you see, there's a little one here, there's one there, there's a couple little ones, so it's actually doing really well. Got some Trinidad and Marigo scorpions that are coming in. Okay, you know, these are, these are Fatalis. Um, I bought these at like a random nursery, and the first year, I got one little pepper, and then I was starting to get only like one little pepper, and then I moved it over here to put where I could get more sun. And there's some beautiful Fatalis, and there's even a little one coming through. It is a habanero plant. And last year, it barely gave me anything. And I moved it over here into the sun, and look at that. Those peppers, and a lot of them are starting to turn already, so maybe in like a week or so, I should have like plenty of ghost peppers. <clears throat> then we have the, the big bed. garden bed, which is actually a mess right now. Mm. Okay, so right here we have uh, serrano peppers. These are um, a different kind of serrano peppers, and because they've been growing in the soil, and they're the soil is really good, you know, they're really prolific. Uh, we had a habanero in there, and this guy, I was kind of worried about it. It was kind of a late bloomer, but when it did start blooming, like, it started producing really beautiful looking peppers. So these are really beautiful. And there's like some bigger ones that are higher up and further in there. Uh, this is my Pinot Noir pepper. This is like a small, like a bell pepper type thing. It's not very spicy at all. It's called Pinot Noir because of the color. You can see it's kind of turning purple. And then we got the zucchini plant. Mm. This is where all the bread comes from, you guys. Yes, eggplant plant. This is my first year growing eggplant. It's It produced a lot of eggplants. I've gotten over 20 eggplants from here. Um, so maybe over over 40 pounds of eggplants on this one plant that costs like a dollar. It's been garden update with Oliver. Hey guys, so it is Saturday afternoon and we are checking out a new coffee shop called Aroma Craft Coffee over in Walnut, so let's see if it's any good. Hey guys, so we are done at Aroma Coffee, Craft Coffee, is that what I said? Um, so it was a cute place, they had this whole like no phones and stuff thing, so I guess, so no footage of that. But now we are going to get dinner with our friend David at a little place called Mr. Pollo. So it is Sunday morning, and um, first of all, I don't think I vlogged after we went to Mr. Pollo. It was amazing. Such good food. It's a small, hole-in-the-wall Peruvian place, and it was delicious. Probably won't, gonna want to go there all the time now. It was so good. Um, it's Sunday. We are going to H&H &H Nursery, because this guy is gonna buy some more plants. And uh, yeah, let's go. done at the nursery got some plants so my friend sent me a message on Instagram about a uh, coffee shop called Green Door and it's powered by Intelligentsia so uh, we're kind of close to it so we're gonna actually go over to Carson and check it out 